Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome to Tesla Week. So we did a full investigation, we went through all of our comments, all of our DMs, and we wanted to listen to you directly and we wanted to answer all your guys' questions about how to clean up your Tesla the right way. So today we're kicking it off with part one on how to properly clean the exterior Tesla. Let's get started. All right, so the first question that we have is how to clean Tesla wheels. And as simple of a question as it may be, there is a couple things that you have to keep in mind, such as the different trim models that they have for these Teslas. They have different types of wheels. In this case, we have matte finish wheels, but they also have them in glossy, powder coated, and uh, even hubcaps as well. So, you know, all wheels need love. So that's why we're gonna be going with the product like Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel, which is a citrus-based wheel cleaner that's safe to use on all wheel finishes. So that's gonna work out great. It's citrus-based, it's gonna break down all the dirt and grime quickly and easily. So to start off this process, I'm gonna start off by rinsing off the wheel. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some of our Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel and I'm gonna spray some directly into my bucket. I like to give it about five sprays and then activate it since it is a gel-based product, it will foam up. And that's gonna work out great because that's gonna act as added lubrication and that way we don't damage or scratch the finish of the wheels. Next, we're gonna grab our Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel, spray some directly onto the face of the wheel and into the barrel as well so we can clean that up. We'll use our Red Rocket, which is a long bristle wheel cleaning brush to get deep into the barrel of the wheel. And then we're gonna move on to using our Wheelie flag tip brush, which is a soft flag tip bristle brush. We're gonna grab some suds and clean the face of the wheel. Now I'm gonna grab my boar's hair detailing brush, which is a little bit of a softer brush, and it's also more direct. That way we can get into all the intricate areas like the logo and the valve stem as well. And now that we're done with that, we're just simply now gonna grab some of our Total Extract, which is a tire and rubber cleaner. This is specifically designed to clean tires. It's gonna remove all the dirt, grime, previous dressings, and tire blooming and oxidation from your tires. That way it restores it to a nice, new, fresh look. Simply spray that directly onto your tires. And now we're gonna grab one of our Big Blue Stiffy, which is a stiff bristle brush. We're gonna grab some of our suds from our Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel for added lubrication and cleaning power. We're gonna spray some Total Extract on there. And then we're simply gonna start scrubbing this tires and start removing all the dirt and grime embedded on it. And now that we're all done, we're simply gonna rinse it off and move on. The next question that we have from you guys is, can you pressure wash a Tesla? And the answer is yes. Here at Chemical Guys, we manufacture our ProFlow PM2000 electric pressure washer, which we've specifically manufactured for washing vehicles like your Tesla and or use it at home for cleaning your concrete, driveways, gutters, and so much more. And it also comes with a set of tips that go onto your pressure washer wand, which allow you to control how aggressive it is on your paintwork. In this case, we're gonna be using the white tip, which is a 40 degree tip. I'll show you guys just how easy it is to pop in. All you have to do is simply pull this sleeve back, slide that in, and you're all good to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and start off the wash by pre-rinsing it from all the kind of dirt, grime, and debris that's sitting on the surface.
All right, guys, now the next question that we had is how do I remove bug guts from my front end? Now, that's a common thing that's gonna be faced with whenever you're driving a Tesla, just because they're commuter vehicles, so they're gonna be driving all over the place, and most likely than not, they're gonna get bug guts on the front end. So right here we have our bug and tar remover wash, and this works out great because you can use it as an additive to your car wash soap, or you can use it diluted in a different spray bottle. In this case, I'm gonna dilute it to a six to one ratio. So in this 32 ounce bottle, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it about two good squirts. And now that we give it about two good squirts, we're gonna set the bottle down and we're gonna put our nozzle on the bottle, twist that on, and then we're gonna stir it. That way the product mixes in with the water that was already in the bottle. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. And now that you're ready to spray it, all you have to do now is simply move this bucket out of the way so you guys can see, and then grab your bug and tar, spray some directly onto the affected areas. In this case, we're gonna spray it on the front end and that's gonna start breaking down all the bug guts and acids that are sitting on the surface of your front end or any affected areas that have the bug guts, not only on your front bumper, but you can use it on your windshield as well and your side view mirrors if you get bug guts on there as well. So meanwhile, that just kind of dwells and breaks down all those bug guts. We're gonna set up our foam cannon and answer the next question on how to wash your Tesla. All right guys, so meanwhile, the bug and tar remover wash is doing its thing right now on the front end of the vehicle. We're gonna hop into the next question, which is, which is the best way to wash a Tesla? Now, right here, we have our two bucket method. If you guys know what a two bucket method is, two bucket method consists of two buckets with two dirt traps in them. Those sit at the bottom of your bucket and those filter out your wash water as you wash your vehicle. Now, the reason there's two buckets in the first place is because one we're gonna dedicate as a rinse bucket and the other one we're gonna dedicate as our soap bucket. And that brings up a next great question is, which is the best car wash soap to use to wash your Tesla? Now here at Chemical Goods, we manufacture all different kinds of soaps, but one of our most popular ones actually happens to be our Mr. Pink, which is a super high sudsing car wash soap that's also pH balanced and safe to use on protective coating. So if you have a ceramic coating, a wax, a sealant, or a glaze on your vehicle, it's not gonna strip it off. It's just gonna give you right that gentle maintenance wash and it's gonna offer you advanced slick lubricants that's gonna make it a breeze for you to simply glide your wash mitt all over your vehicle and without introducing scratches and swirls to the paintwork. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our two bucket method. We also have a chenille microfiber wash mitt. Now I'm gonna dedicate my blue bucket as my soap bucket. So I'm just gonna uh, throw that in there. And then I'm gonna grab my gallon of Mr. Pink right here. And I like having the gallon personally because I wash my car very often. And the gallon is always gonna be the best bang for your buck. So we're gonna apply about an ounce into our bucket here. That's all you need. And then we also have our Torque Professional Snow Foam Cannon. Now, you guys heard me mention our ProFlow PM2000 Electric Pressure Washer. Now we're gonna be utilizing it to the max with our Torque Foam Cannon. So the beauty about this cannon is that it's designed to create copious amounts of cleaning suds to lather all over your ride for the richest cleaning experience possible. So now we're gonna grab our gallon Mr. Pink. I'm gonna pour about an, uh, two ounces into the canister here. And now that that's all good, we're gonna put our cap back on. Put that in the front for you guys so you guys can check it out. And then we're gonna put our nozzle back onto the bottle, twist it on, and just with, and just like the bug and tar remover wash, you don't wanna shake it, just give it a nice little stir. And you're all ready to start washing. But before we start washing and wiping it down, we're gonna go ahead and foam it up. So we're gonna connect our torque snow foam cannon directly to our torque snubby which is our pressure washer gun attachment. And that connects the exact same way. Simply pull the sleeve back, slide it in, pop it up, and you're all ready to foam. So now that's all set up, now we're gonna go ahead and foam up the Tesla and then we'll be right back with you guys to show you guys some cool tips and techniques for properly wiping down the surface of your Tesla.
Continuing the question on how to wash your Tesla and the two bucket method, now we're gonna show you guys some cool tips and techniques on how to properly wipe it down. So as you guys saw earlier, we set up our two bucket method and we put some uh, Mr. Pink car wash soap into our blue bucket here. Now we're gonna activate the suds. Simply by activating it with our pressure washer wand. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my chenille microfiber wash mitt. I'm gonna grab some of these suds and then we're gonna make our way to the car. Now, whenever it comes to wiping down your Tesla, you want to make sure that you wipe it down in straight motions and you don't want to apply any kind of heavy pressure because if there's any kind of contaminants, let's just say, for example, a little twig or a rock that's sitting on the paint and it gets on your wash mitt and you start doing that circular motion, you're going to get all kinds of spider web scratches all over your vehicle. So make sure that you start from the top, work your way down. Right now, I'm showing you guys on the hood just for demonstrational purposes. But if I were to start this wash correctly, I would have started on the roof the windshield and then the hood, but, but simply because the hood is not really connected to anywhere else as far as like the top part, we can simply just wipe it down without any kind of complications. And as you guys can see, Mr. Pink Car Wash Suds does an incredible job at just lubricating the wash mitt and just check out those suds. It just glides your wash mitt all over. Now we're gonna go back to our two bucket method and I'm gonna show you guys how to use that. So we're back here with the two bucket method. Now you guys saw that we had a bucket right here with just clean water. So what you wanna do at this point is you wanna grab your wash mitt, wring it out outside of the bucket. That way any kind of water remaining on there, it's gonna help extract any of the grime that's on your wash mitt. And then what you wanna do is dunk it into your bucket here with your dirt trap and clean water and simply just move it around you can scrub it against the face of the dirt trap that's sitting at the bottom of your bucket to help knock off any kind of loose debris. And then you want to go ahead and wring that out one more time. Grab some more suds and then continue with the wash. So we're going to go ahead and wrap that up and then we'll be right back with you guys for some epic drying techniques. <laughs> guys so now that we're all done washing the tesla it's time to dry it up so i have two different products right here to do that for me i have one our pro blow which is a high speed blower this is going to blow out all the water in those standing cracks and crevices so it's going to help us get water out from the wheels the trim the seals the wipers and any kind of intricate areas and you can also use it to dry your entire vehicle in this case this vehicle is coated so if we wanted to we totally could but I like to use a combination of both towel and blower to achieve the ultimate drying experience. So I like to use this for the tough HK cracks and crevices. And I like to use our Speed Mammoth, which is a super thick, ultra plush and silk line drying towel. It's going to work out great for soaking up all the water from all the standing areas like the hood, the panels of the quarter panel, the doors, the fenders and all that much more. So we're going to go ahead and dry it up. I'm going to show you guys some quick little techniques here and there, but we're going to dry it up. We're going to pull it inside the bay and then answer the rest of you guys' question when it comes to detailing the exterior of your Tesla.
All right guys, so I did basically the front end with the Pro Blow just because I wanted to show you guys just how easy and effective it is to use a dryer or blower like the Pro Blow to dry your vehicle. Now I wanna show you guys some pretty awesome techniques on how do you properly use your Speed Mammoth drying towel. Now there's actually a couple ways of using it. One, first and foremost being set it down, set it down flat, and then all you wanna do is simply just drag it. So as you guys can see, we did the pass with their Speed Mammoth. We did the left side, and as you guys see, it picked up all the standing water that was left on the rear glass. And that's one great way to use your drying towel. Another way is actually, you can fold it in half in the case that if it happens to be too large for you, you can fold it in half, you can set it down. And this is what we call the blotting method, where you just kind of blot your hands all over the towel when it's on a wet section. And then once you do that, just simply pick up your towel and check it out. It does an incredible job of just picking up that water. Here's the line that we did straight down, and here's the little square that we did right here. I don't know how well it shows on camera, but you can definitely tell. You know what? I'll give you guys another one. So you guys see all the water right here very clearly. Yes? <laughs> so I'll set my towel down. Blot it out. And then same thing. We're just gonna blot it as best as we can and then simply pull away. And check that out. All you have left is that little thin strip of water left in the middle, which we haven't touched yet. Incredible results with your Speed Mammoth drying towel. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish up drying the rest of the vehicle. We'll put it inside the bay and show you guys some proper maintenance care for your Tesla. All right guys, so we got the Tesla all nice and washed up. We pulled it inside and now it's fully dry. Now it's just waiting for those final touches. But before we get into those, we're just gonna go ahead and answer a few more questions that we ran across whenever we were doing our investigation on what were the most asked questions when it comes to cleaning the exterior of your Tesla. So the next one that I do wanna address is, how often should I wash my Tesla? Now, I know for something like this, it kind of, you know, it's kind of the same for most vehicles, but just kind of be a little bit more specific as far as Teslas. You know, the paint, it is a little bit different from most manufacturers, so you really wanna make sure that you take very, very good care of it. And what I mean by that is wash it often. So by you washing your vehicle often, that's gonna help negate any kind of contaminants sitting on there from embedding themselves into the clear coat and then damaging it over time. So to answer this question, how often should you wash your Tesla? We here at Chemical Guys always recommend washing your vehicle on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. If you do anything longer than that, then you're gonna leave your paint exposed to the chance of contaminants landing on it and embedding themselves into the finish of your clear coat and then thus damaging it over time. The next question that we have is how to prevent paint from getting dull. Now this is, like I said, it's a given for all vehicles and especially when you have a brand new vehicle, you wanna maintain that beautiful lustrous shine exactly how this Tesla has. This thing has a very, very rich, sleek black finish and we wanna maintain that. So to maintain that shine, you wanna use something like a spray wax, a spray sealant, uh, or in this case, a spray ceramic coating. So we're gonna be using our Hydro Speed, which is a ceramic quick detailer to just quickly wipe away any kind of leftover grime, dust and debris in between washes that's on the surface of the vehicle. That way we boost the shine, we boost the protection, and it's always protected against those harsh UV rays, which in the future will prevent it from getting dull and oxidized. Another question that we had was how to make tires shine and last longer. So I'm assuming they're probably talking about the condition of the tires themselves. Now here at Chemical Guys, we offer a full ceramic lineup, just like we did Hydro Speed with the uh, ceramic quick detailer. We also have something specifically for tires and trim. As you guys can see, this Tesla does have plastic trim all throughout the vehicle. So in order to have the best UV protection and make sure that these are protected against harsh UV rays and it prevents it from drying, cracking, fading, and discoloration, we recommend going with a product like Hydro Shield, which is a ceramic, vinyl, rubber, and plastic shine coating that's designed for interior and exterior vinyl, rubber, and plastic surfaces. So you can apply it to things like your tires, your trim, your dashboards, your door panels, and so much more for that durable UV protection to protect against drying, fading, cracking, and discoloration. And the last question that we're gonna cover on this video is what to use on Tesla glass and how to clean the cameras, which is a very great question because you know these Teslas are manufactured with self-driving technology, and obviously they rely a lot on those cameras and sensors. So you wanna make sure that those are always clean as well as your own windshield and your glass on your vehicle because you wanna make sure that you have the best visibility in all driving conditions. So you wanna make sure that your glass is always in tip top shape because the last thing that you wanna worry about is you know driving, 
and your glass is all dirty and you're just smearing all kinds of dirt and grime all over it. I know that's one of my biggest pet peeves. So in order to address something like that and something that's gonna be safe for all glass, tinted and non-tinted is our streak-free glass cleaner. Now streak-free glass cleaner is an ammonia-free glass cleaner that works out incredible for both, like I said, inside and outside of your glass. So you can use it on the window tints, aftermarket or factory tinted glass. It's gonna work out incredibly and it leaves a fully streak-free dry finish. All right, guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for all the questions that we were able to find amongst Tesla drivers. Like I said, uh, these questions, they were from our comment section, they were from our YouTube, our TikTok, our Instagram, our Facebook, all that. All of our social platforms, we looked into it because we wanted to dedicate a video specifically for you guys at home who love your Tesla and wanna make sure that you protect your investment to ensure that you guys have a video that you guys can you know, rely on in order to make your Tesla shine. So like I said, a lot of these questions that we answered today, they're not just for Teslas. We kind of, you know, we wanted to tailor a video specifically for Teslas, but a lot of the stuff is just general rule of thumb. You can use it on your own vehicle, such as, you know, if you drive any other vehicle that's not a Tesla, a lot of the same things that we covered on today's video will also apply for your vehicle as well. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. So if you guys enjoy the content behind this series and this video, make sure to give us a huge like. And if you guys wanna make sure to stay tuned, we will be doing a part two on interior. And as you guys know, there's a bunch of different stuff when it comes to Tesla interiors that you have to account for, like vegan leather and so much more. So we're gonna be covering that on the next video. So if you guys wanna be up to date on that, make sure you hit subscribe right now so that you get a notification whenever we post that video. As always, if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that you guys seen on today's video, you can pick them up on our website, chemicalguides.com. They're linked in the description down below. And in the comment section, there will be a pinned comment where you can see all the links to these products. And if you're a person who prefers to pick it up in store, then make sure to check out the description down below. We'll also link our Detail Garage store locator. We have Detail Garage store locations all throughout the US, the UK, and Canada. I was trying to time those out perfectly. <laughs> but you guys get the gist of it. My name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time.